The Boys and Girls Club of Brockton were involved with the Youth Issues Governor debate, featuring the three running candidates for the upcoming election. A few of the Brockton youth got a chance to ask their questions directly to the candidates. About four months ago, uh, there was a task force formed uh, based, out of, uh, based out of Boston with the, with the idea that we would explore uh, hosting a gubernatorial forum. And there were agencies uh, from uh, across Boston and across the state that came together um, to discuss that possibility. Um, and through a lot of hard work, through people like Jude Goldman, uh, Tally Raskin, uh, Emmett Folger, and uh, Lou Finfer, and many other people, uh, we are here today uh, for the forum, and it's a very exciting day. It gives us an opportunity to uh, allow our kids to uh, engage in the civic engagement process, um, and we're really excited about that from a Boys and Girls Club perspective. Um, the great part of this event is we've uh, we formed a Brockton coalition of uh, youth organizations that will be attending today. Um, not only do we have Boys and Girls Club members, but we also have uh, students from Youth Build, uh, representatives from the Safe Corners program, uh, street outreach, outreach program, and we also have uh, the Brockton Youth Council here as well. And uh, a couple of people, uh, a couple of our kids will be participating in the event. Um, we have Greta and Chris. Uh, Greta is one of the youth moderators. She was selected uh, based off of uh, her interview process. And Chris, based off of uh, his hard work and his efforts over a number of years, not only at the Boys and Girls Club, but at programs like the Massasoit Gateway to College program, uh, Chris will be asking one of the questions today. So we're very excited. We're very excited to be part of this process. I'm the executive director of the Dorchester Youth Collaborative. I've been there for 30 years. And I've been working closely with the other organizations and the youth to put this event together. The reason is we noticed that it wasn't present. Youth violence and youth issues and jobs were not present on the websites, the campaign websites of any of the candidates a while back. So we helped organize this event to make sure these issues got their fair share of attention. These programs have led me to reach my potential, build my leadership skills, and express myself as a true individual. They have also given me the leadership capabilities that I would otherwise not have access to. What these programs do for me is exactly what they do for teens all across the state. Youth programs make teens feel like they belong, matter, and can make a change, regardless of the obstacles that are presented in our path. But for too many brought to you, there's not enough programs or sometimes no programs. Youth end up doing negative things like joining gangs, hanging out in bad crowds, getting into drugs, you name it. However, it doesn't have to be this way. Isn't that right? Um, I'm going to be the youth moderator for the event. I have another moderator, his name is Daniel. And um, we're both going to be opening up the forum with an opening statement. Introduce the moderator, who is Liz uh, Walker. And then kids from different organizations that have been chosen, youth groups. They're going to tell a little bit of their personal story and then ask the uh, candidates a question that they will have time to answer and rebuttal and things like that. So it'll be like a debate, but the youth will actually have a chance in the debate to pose the questions and kind of give the audience and the candidates their side of how youth groups and youth programs and funding have impacted their lives. Well, I've been volunteering at the Boys and Girls Club for about a month now, so I was invited to come here and help out whatever possible. It's great to be here. There's going to be 400 young people here and the adults are just as important, very committed adults. So this is a partnership between youth and adults to try to preserve the kind of programs that are helping these young people, but also to reach out and try to get programs for other kids who don't have them. These young people are fighting for resources for others. Good afternoon. My name is Chris Polakar. I live in the city of Brockton, and I'm representing the Boys and Girls Club of Brockton. In the past, I've been involved in a number of demoralizing situations. For more than a year, my family and I were homeless due to a fire. During this time, I wasn't performing or behaving well in school, and as a result, I was expelled from Brockton High. Because of my positive experiences at the club, not only as a member, but as a summer employee, I learned to distance myself from the negative influences in the streets and to make positive choices for myself and for my future. Through the guidance and support of caring adults, who believed in me. I have been fortunate to re-enter school with plans to graduate and to continue my education with the hope of graduating from college. I think that keeping youth groups and keeping the youth involved in everything is probably one of the most important things that we have to focus on. 
Um, it definitely has helped me. It has shaped who I am, and I know it helps so many of the kids that I know and teens and youth all across the state. So definitely just keeping youth involved, keeping youth programs, and never underestimating the power that the youth have.